Whoa, dudes, Michelangelo here, just kicking it, playing with some old action figures, and you are with the bodacious Sween Halleck and Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. Whew, well, that, that was a mouthful, but I made it. It's cool. We're all right. Where's my pizza? How goes it, dudes and dudettes? As some folks may or may not know, Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk is ultimately a result of me stumbling across a video by my now good friend Pixel Dan. It was an episode of the classic internet series That New Toy Smell, in which my pixelated pal laid down his list of his 10 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys from Tier 2. In the near two and a half years that Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk has been running, I've often been asked by viewers what my favorite pieces of the Premier Playmates line are. So today, rather than a regular review of reptile-related radness, I'm going to present my own top 10 vintage non-turtle TMNT figures. Number 10 is the not-so-well-known wiggly weirdo, Worm. While he has no actual odor effect, Worm reeks of everything the original Playmates line was all about. Boisterously bright colors, daffy design, and sui generous sculpt. I particularly enjoy his wormy fingers and his tentacle leg, which is surprisingly easy to balance on. Plus, pulling that tuft of hair up top is technically a two-in-one action feature as you make Worm's eyes bug out and his mouth open where he spits out wads of worms. Where do you go wrong with all the freaky features on this fun figure? Number 9 is one of the earliest second stringers to see release, Ace Duck. Part of what I love about the Fab Four's feathery friend is the way he really seems to be balanced in being half human with his body type, jacket, and pants, and fractionally foul with his feet, feathers, and face. Even Ace's accessories follow this theme with his somewhat realistic service pistol and hat accompanying his egg grenades and large set of wings. Any TMNT fan should definitely add an Ace Duck to their action figure aggregation. Number 8 is the killer cordon bleu, Pizza Face. Pizza Face has a pretty gruesome getup with his green slobber, bugs, missing finger, and pizza peg leg which is interchangeable with his clever cleaver. Not only is Pizza Face an all-round cool figure with plenty of playability, but he's also a sentimental favorite of mine. Pizza Face was a Christmas present I got back in 7th grade from a friend of mine in the neighborhood I grew up in. So Liz, on the off chance you're seeing this, thanks, and I miss you. Number 7 is a pretty rare one in Hot Spot. As a figure with firefighting furnishings, what else could Hotspot be but a Dalmatian? I've always admired the piebald pelts of Dalmatians, so aesthetically speaking, that's a large reason he ranks on my favorites list. I love the way his fur is sculpted, as it almost looks like it should actually be fuzzy. Throw in his awesome anti-arson equipment, and the bone tightly clenched between his choppers, and you've got another winner of a TMNT toy. Good boy, Hotspot. While number seven was a lot lesser known, number six is no stranger to most Turtle fans' lists of faves. It's Metalhead. There is nothing not gnarly to me about the Android and Apsid. For one, between his golden torso, and his red eyes through which you can shine light, you get lots of shui shininess. 
Even his non-reflective surfaces feature a nice sculpt to give Metalhead a metallic look, making him much more than a turtle painted light gray. To add ice cream to the pizza, Metalhead has one of my favorite features in all of Toydom in his ability to swap out his hands for his weapon. I love figures that do this, dating back to the likes of Trapjaw or the Cobra Battle Android Troopers. Factor all of this in, and Metalhead making my cut is an absolute no-brainer. Coming in at number 5 is a figure who has aged amazingly well. Even by today's standards, Mutagen Man is one hideous creature. With his exposed muscle through ripped flesh, and all of his innards being kept alive in a tank, Mutagen Man looks like something you'd find in a Resident Evil game, but here he is from back in the early 90s. One of Mutagen Man's main draws is the ability to fill his tank up with water, so you can gawk at the gooey garbage floating around inside. I've logged in lots of hours of primo playtime with Mutagen Man, and really see him as a mean mutant must-have for all TMNT collectors. Okay, I don't usually like revealing my hand to viewers as far as what figures I have in my collection if I haven't yet reviewed it, as I prefer to keep people guessing as to who all is on the table as far as potential episodes go. However, I get asked if I have this one a lot, and since I'm doing my top 10 non-main characters, just this once, I'll let the cat out of the bag. I do in fact own the rarest TMNT figure of all time, Scratch, my number 4 pick. I'm not going to say or show too much about him here because I don't want to take away from him when he eventually gets his own R2-T3 episode. However. Anyone who has ever seen any of my reviews can guess why Scratch easily makes my list. The only reason he doesn't rank higher is that due to him coming so late in the line, I never got a hold of him as a kid, and had to track him down as an adult. Thus, I don't have retro memories of him. However, being the crazy cat person I am, it's hard to find the words to express how elated I am to own Scratch. Or in other words, yay, kitty! Number 3 is actually the first figure I ever did a video review of, which even further endears him to me, Ray Filet. Even before I discovered TMNT, I've always been enamored with Manta Rays. Needless to say, I was thoroughly thrilled when Playmates introduced a mutant Manta into the line. Ray Filet's aquamarine and sea green skin is very pleasing to the peepers. His water activated color change feature is loads of fun too, particularly at bath time or at pool parties. I've mentioned more times than man can measure how much I love the little buddy sidekick characters that came with some of the TMNT figures. To me it was always like getting two figures in one even though the little buddy was normally just a one-colored solid piece of plastic. Ray Filet came with sea-dwelling sidekick Fish Sticks, an apparent explosives expert. This pair of aquatic amigos definitely belongs on any turtle fan's toy shelf. Number two is the battiest buddy the boys in green have, Wingnut. I still remember the day back before we knew what was coming months ahead of time. My friend Derek and I walked into the store and were uber psyched to find new TMNT figures. We each grabbed ourselves a wingnut and ran to the register. I always got a kick out of wingnut, due in part to his big tubby build with tiny wings, which are doubled up with mechanical ones so they can actually lift his corpulent keister off the ground. In addition to that, he has that funny and cute smushed face that vampire bats have. And let's not forget Screwloose, Wingnut's mosquito partner who has the ability to loosely hold onto his back. Wingnut and Screwloose are a crazy cool coupling who fall second only to one. 
my number one figure of all time from the first Playmates line is Muckman. The dude is a mutant pile of garbage, which makes for one of the best and most unique sculpts I've ever seen on a figure. Is a walking, rotting trash heap not gross enough for you? Why not pour some retro mutagen ooze into his muck pack, or into the top of his head and watch it seep out through his mouth and guts? A key component that really makes Muckman my number one is Joe Eyeball. What a perfect partner to this vile but valiant turtle ally. Muckman is actually often mistaken for being from Playmates Toxic Crusader line, which I can easily see, but his home is with the heroes in a half shell. There you have my list of 10 favorite non-turtle TMNT figures. How about you? Can you rank your 10 sweetest supporting characters? If so, Take it to the forums at www.radicalretro.com. Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk is a part of the Pop Culture Network, where if you can't find something you like, you must not like cool stuff. Pop Culture Network also has its very own store at www.shoppcn.com, where I know you'll find plenty of Mac and merch to beef up your collections. Still haven't had enough TMNT talk? Then you should definitely listen in on the brand new TMNT podcast, What the Shell, with Dylan Cook, Mike Lacey, and Chris Vent at www.whattheshell.podbean.com. Don't miss it. That'll do it from me for now. But there will be a new round of Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk ready to rock before you know it. For now though, stay rad. <laughs>